cows. They produce milk and food, and they're really adorable. But what they belch up is a big contributor to climate change. It's really the burps and not the farts. That's been, <laughs> that has been one of Really, a, it is the burps, It is not the burps. The, the, the issue as far as methane goes, yes. We're gonna show you how researchers here in the state of Florida are responding to this problem. How their response works, what they're learning from it, and how there's still some limitations that they're trying to figure out. We're at North Florida Research and Education Center, and uh, this is one of the research and education centers of UF. And Dr. Nicholas DiLorenzo has been researching cattle on this land just outside Tallahassee for the last 14 years. So um, here, what we, what we have here is one of our research pasture. This is part of our uh, herd. So they're saying um, hi. They're, yeah, they're saying hi. They're saying, uh, they're, they're, they know the news are here, so they want to. They also want to be famous. About 800 head of cattle call these pastures home, and they eat a lot. What's in here? So this is the whole plant, corn or sorghum, chopped and put in a bag to ferment, basically to pickle over uh, a certain period of time, typically 60 days or more. Yeah. And then when it comes out, it has that, that smell that uh, it's uh, smells cows love good. it. it. Smells good, yeah, yeah. For, uh, like a uh, fermented feed, basically. But traditional cow feed like this causes cows to burp. And that burp is full of methane, which is the second largest contributor to climate warming. One methane molecule traps 28 times more heat than a molecule of carbon dioxide. This satellite imaging from NASA shows how methane gas in the atmosphere has doubled over the last 200 years. Researchers estimate about a third of that comes from agriculture and livestock. The burps are silent, right? The burps are very silent. You'll never, like right now, it's time that they're burping and, and sometimes while they're eating, they're burping and that's how they release That's a skill. The methane, yeah, that is a skill. That is really a skill. We see it everywhere. Record-breaking heat waves in the United States and China. President Biden signed an international pledge to reduce methane emissions by 30% by the year 2030. Last year, I signed in the law in the United States the largest investment ever anywhere in the history of the world to combat the climate crisis and help move the global economy toward a clean energy future. Five million dollars of that investment has been granted to DiLorenzo and his team at the University of Florida. And they're going to work with other researchers at Auburn University and Clemson. And together, they're going to create feed additives to reduce the amount of methane that cows produce and then test that feed here. They will then measure how much methane the cow burps up in one of these machines. What we have here, one of our most common analysis is volatile fatty acids, VFA um, for short. Samples from inside the cow's stomachs will also be tested in a lab in what DiLorenzo calls a cow in a bottle. We have some sensors in here uh, this has a battery, and these sensors uh, send a wireless signal to our uh, home base, and a computer will track gas production of this vessel. So that would allow us to get the entire uh, gas produced. All of that is collected into this bag. So while this and is you're working, hoping for less gas, right? We are hoping for less gas, and particularly less of methane gas. De Lorenzo says they're already on the right track, but they have to figure out which additive works the best and doesn't impact the taste of cow's milk or beef. When it comes to navigating climate change and the, the world's future, do you sure. see yourself as part of the solution to that? Absolutely, even though it's a small percentage compared to other areas, I don't think that we, we scientists and people working in the agricultural field should avoid that responsibility. Be sure to subscribe to Solutionaries to see all our latest videos right here on YouTube.